to blame It's not my fault for being lame Chef, and welcome to my Mexican fiesta. Hey, um, tonight we're gonna be filming on how to make uh, some nice ethnic Mexican meals, and uh, I'm gonna be doing this because I want you guys to learn how to stay away from going to uh, cheap Americanized versions of Mexican food like Taco Bell. Uh, well, the stuff we're doing right now is it's fairly simple. Uh, it's fairly cheap, uh, and it feeds so many people, and it's so tasty. And, uh, you know, it, it's just beneficial to you not to eat the, the fast food version of these kind of things. So, uh, I'm gonna let my friends chill in here for a while, drink their Coronas, and uh, listen to my Uncle Mike playing uh, some Hispanic guitar. And uh, I'm gonna go in and start cooking stuff. Righty-o, man. Well, here we are in the kitchen. Uh, I got the dude in the robe. As always, what's up, dude? The road. It's making some tea, getting ready to cook our Mexican fiesta meal. Uh, what we've got going on right now is we've got some of the stuff prepped out for time's sake, and uh, we've got these jalapeno peppers. And uh, what we did is we took a paring knife, or a big knife if you want, and uh, we cut a slit in there like that, and down like that. We made a T. And uh, what you can see is you can just bust this open like that, and we're gonna be pulling some of the seeds out. And this is how we're going to be stuffing the peppers. So we've already got these all prepped out. We've got our tomatoes here for roasting in the salsa. I've got some already zested limes. The zest is the outside of the lime, just the colored part. You don't want to get into the white part because that's bitter. But uh, what that is is this stuff right here. And this is pure lime flavor right here. And I'm going to be using this in part of the chicken. So we got that. I've already got the, uh, the peppers and the onions cut up uh, for the fajitas. And I've got, we've got the cilantro right here. Cilantro is a fresh parsley looking herb with this really, it's just this clean, crisp scent uh, and taste. It's, it's orgasmic really, I love it. Uh, we've got some onion, we've got the jalapeno, cilantro. We're uh, ready to cook. Uh, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna start off by uh, getting these chickens ready to rock and he's gonna start slicing some tomatoes. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to have these chicken breasts covered in lime juice and honey. So grab the honey. We got the limes. I'm going to cut these limes open real quick. Uh, you might want to know what a zester is actually. This is a zesting tool. It's got these little holes in it that cut through the skin. You've got a big one too. I can go around in like an orange and make a huge uh, zest curl. And uh, I'm sure you actually all have a zester in your house. Uh, many of you probably have those box cheese graters and you've got the one side that's really too small for grating cheese and you don't ever use it. Like what the hell is that for? That's actually a zester. Uh, most people just don't know that they have them. And uh, in fact, I didn't know for quite some time. And now that I do know, I'm quite happy. But you can just run it up against the box thing, just go like that and careful not to get all that white in there. You just want to go to the green. I don't know if you can get up in there and see that. Just green, not the white. Excellent. So I am going to grab a bowl and I'm going to juice into these. You're going to want to juice over your hand like this so if any seeds come out you can catch them when you're doing this with lemons as well and oranges. And then go ahead and just discard the rest. What the dude in the robe is doing now is he's covering the tomatoes with olive oil. He's got these sliced up just in a little uh, pan and then he's gonna be seasoning them. Good, good and coated. You need me to grab the dirty sulfur, you got it? Okay. I'm actually gonna save some of these limes. I think we got, I'll uh, crank a few more in there, but be sure and save some limes for the Coronas. You know, gotta have the lime in your beer. Okay, so we got our lime juice going. And we got the seasoning going on on the tomatoes before we throw them in the oven to roast them. And uh, you can just turn your oven on to broil to roast these. It doesn't take that long to do it. And uh, it just gives them this really dark, rich flavor. It brings out the sugars in the tomato. It's going to be really nice. Let's get those in the oven. Radio. 
Then I'm going to grab these chicken breasts. Just got standard chicken breasts, boneless. And I'm going to pour this lime juice on them. Some honey. Right out of the bear's head. It helps to pour the honey from an extreme height because it makes everyone think it's really cool. And get it everywhere. All right, so we're done with that. I'm going to grab some of this salt and pepper. We've already combined the salt and the pepper together to eliminate steps. And actually something else really nice that we're going to do is we're going to be doing some toasted cumin. And uh, what that is going to be, so I'm just going to grab my cumin seed here and throw it into a dry frying pan here, just a small one. Now I'm going to crank this up and turn that on. And it's dry in there and all it's going to do is just toast them uh, and dry them up so I can throw them in this mortar and pestle and grind them out. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the zest, cover that up, sprinkle that on top of there. This is going to be really great. The dude in the rope doing is right now, what he's doing right now is uh, making, dicing up some tomatoes for the salsa that was going to be stuffed into the, uh, the uh, chilies, the uh, pico gallo or whatever the correct terminology is for it. <laughs> and I'm just getting these good and coated right here, getting the honey mixed up in it. And I'm going to be throwing these on the grill. We can get a shot in on these seeds. There's not much going to them right now. I just want to give them a little shake every now and then so they don't stick to the pan. But, uh, oh, yeah, you can start smelling right now. It's just really, really great. Like, uh, something I related to is if you've smelled, like, taco seasoning before, there's a large amount of cumin in taco seasonings that you might have had before and uh, it's just an even more extreme version of that it's just uh, cranking out everywhere. hello we got some more guests excellent hello. Uh, go ahead and uh, grab a beer in the cooler if you guys want and have a seat on the living room and now hey oh got some on me but uh all right wipe off his hands and what the dude in the robe is going to do now is he's going to take some brown sugar and add it to the boiling water that we have going here and uh, the reason why we have boiling water is we're going to blanch these peppers. Uh, blanching is just putting them in uh, extremely hot water for a few seconds. Uh, five, oh, five minutes. Excellent. Doing the row, always keeping me on track. Dropping them in. Excellent. So we got those going. Turn this down. Got the cumin seed toasted. You can smell it. Like right now, it's really kicking ass in the kitchen and just throwing out this huge aroma. It's nice. That smells pretty good. I'm going to take these, drop them into the mortar and pestle. and just grind them up. Oh god, that smells great. <laughs> I'm all excited about the cumin. Okay, so we got the cumin ground up. And man, I wish this camera had a little sensor on it because this is great. Oh yeah, excellent. So I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to bring this out to the grill with me. Uh, let's go out to the grill now. Well, the dude in the robe is, uh, oh, thanks, some salt and pepper. I'm bringing these out with me. And uh, we're going to throw these on the grill. All right, here we are outside in uh, this cold October night. Out of my grill. It's never too cold to grill, though. We got some nice coals going here. 
And I'm just going to set these down for a second, grab the other chicken breasts. Chicken breasts. Excellent. Take these, set them on the grill. Save some of that juice. And with my clean hand, just sprinkle the tops with some salt and pepper. And the toasted cumin. Excellent. Let's throw the lid on these guys and head back in. Ready, oh man. Well, we've got the. Uh, the jalapenos blanched, and man, they're putting off this fragrant, like, ass-kicking chemical in the air right now. It's, uh, it's really, it's heavy to breathe, it's, but it's really nice. We got the tomatoes roasting. We got the uh, window open, and uh, dude in the robe is going to be uh, cooking off the stuff that he cut up, throwing some garlic in there. Tomatoes and onion. <coughs> Do you like jalapenos? Um, and I'm going to start uh, sauteing off these vegetables for the, the chicken. Throw some butter in a pan. We got some uh, special olives here for this. These are pitted. Uh, Colmadas. These aren't actually Hispanic olives, but uh, they have such a great taste. Uh, this is something we'd really want to incorporate into them. Check on these guys. Doing pretty good. Okay, so the dude in the robe is uh, removing the blanched jalapenos. And uh, the reason, I don't know if I said this before, but the reason why the brown sugar is there to sweeten up the jalapenos a little bit, uh, since they've got such a, a pungent taste and really hot. Nice. We've uh, taken the jalapenos and we put them in the fridge to cool them off, so when we uh, get ready to dip them in the batter to fry them. Uh, we've got the salsa going in here, some unnecessary flipping. Unnecessary flipping is actually always necessary as far as I'm concerned though. And then we've got the tomatoes roasted off and we had to uh, run and grab a fan because uh, man the boiling jalapeno water just really started choking everything up since we're in such a small area. So we got the fan rocking. You might want to keep this in mind if you ever do this yourself. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. As soon as doing the robe is done occupying my space. Nice. Hot pad. Get rid of this guy. I'm going to dump the vegetables in here. Nice colors. We got the oranges. We got the yellow peppers. We got lots of onion in there. Hit this up with some uh, salt and pepper. And a little bit more of that cumin. I kind of like that. I'm going to throw a little bit more butter in there. And we're just going to let these saute. Excellent. Some unnecessary flipping. We're going to bust out the uh, magic stick again. The Cuisinart. Mincing up some garlic in here. Excellent. Add that to the roasted tomatoes and the onions. Oh. 
That is awesome. Doing the roll, ladies and gentlemen. Love this guy. All right, well, there's a lot of stuff to do right now. Uh, kitchen's real smoky, and we need to bust out of here. Uh, we're going to go watch some stuff. I'm going to go check on the chickens. But while we're getting the rest of this stuff ready, why don't you take a look at a video we prepared earlier in this week on uh, some Mexican fiesta things. All right. So, uh, preparation for our Mexican fiesta meal, we decided to swing on out to the airport bar here on 10, get ourselves a few margaritas. Thursday night, it's only $2. Pretty choice. Yes! All right, we're back. And uh, I've got the chicken breast on the grill here. And I'm going to take them off. I've got the grill marks on these now. Uh, just, uh, you kind of get in that grilled flavor, you know, some of that darkness to them. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them on this pan. And I'm going to actually cook the rest off in the oven. This way you can uh, be sure that the chicken gets done. And uh, if need be, you can kind of stall them out a little. Lock those guys up. Cover the grill. Let's uh, go back inside. So we got the chicken breasts. We got the dude in the room. And what he's done now, I'm going to toss these guys in the oven. Got it about 400 degrees. Got the veggies sauteing. Got some nice caramelization going on on these guys. See the brown going on in this? Oh, these are going to be really nice. It's got a real sweet smell to them right now. It's very cool. What we've got now is the jalapeno that we blanched. And he's going to take out the seeds. Just using a spoon. Be real careful that you don't tear it around. You know, we want to keep this pocket. And the thing about these jalapenos, maybe you don't know this, uh, these seeds and uh, the little stem part inside of it is where all the heat from the jalapeno comes. If you take a jalapeno and you clean all this out, and you just eat this part, it's like a, maybe a hotter green pepper kind of thing. But if you leave the seeds in, man, you're asking for some pain. Uh, and so you're going to want to be really careful when you're taking these out. Like you want to go and wash your hands immediately after doing this. He's going to go ahead and stuff a pepper since he's got uh, lots of experience. And uh, uh, if you want, you can uh, steal some, play, uh, some latex gloves off one of the janitor's carts at school. Uh, I'm sure they won't mind as long as it's in the name of safety. And... Uh, we're going to stuff these guys. Maybe it's time for the dude's inspection. Uh, the trick to stuffing these is to, uh, he's using a little bit of spoon, I'm using my fingers. Doesn't matter, it's all, it's all cool. And you're going to want to stuff them, but not super full that they're bursting. You want to make sure that they'll still kind of close up and clean off the excess from the outside. And just get them nice like that, so they're not bursting, just like a jalapeno form. If you have any uh, questions or comments, or you want the recipes to this, uh, be sure to check out my email, or I can email it to you. I'll have a web page up pretty soon. But uh, go to punkrockchef at hotmail.com. Drop me a line saying you want the, uh, the recipes for whatever show we did, and I'll uh, send them back to you. Or if you have some uh, questions or comments, or... Uh, uh, just want to give me your phone number. Uh, be sure to drop me an email. All right, if you want the dude in the robes number, man, uh, he's available right now. We got the jalapeno stuffed. We're going to throw them in the freezer to get everything locked up. You can go ahead, if you want to make these a couple days in advance, if you know you're going to have a little fiesta going on, go ahead and make these suckers in advance and freeze them up like that. That'll be fine. Uh, Got the salsa. We're going to add some cilantro to this. That just makes it that clean, crisp, fresh, orgasmic taste to it. How did you make the cilantro? The cilantro comes in like parsley. It comes in like this. And uh, all you really want to do is just take the leaves off like this. Get a big pile going, and then extreme, extreme cilantro close-up. And then you're just going to want to mince it up like that and rock it, you know. Get it at the big pile going and just wham, 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 wham all over it. And get it so it's nice and cut up like that. So we got that stirred up. Got the vegetables done. Taste the salsa that the dude in the room made. Oh. 
Oh, that's that's orgasmic. So, nice job, dude. That was good. So what the dude in the row was doing now is is separating the egg whites from the egg yolks. By doing this, you just run them through your fingers really gently until you get that little guy out. Of course, wipe your hands off. Probably wash them. We're all friends here. It's all right. And we're going to start whisking, whipping, going crazy on the whites. We're going to make them a ring. This is going to turn into a white, fluffy concoction. And uh, it's going to take you a while. If you've got like a, a KitchenAid or like a hand blender, you can use that. Uh, you don't want to over whip them for this. You can whip them, they uh, grade them by a series of peaks. Like you have hard peaks or soft peaks. And we want soft peaks on this sucker. So uh, we're uh, da -da 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 -da, just whipping it good here. Now the meringue, you remember these are just the, uh, the snotty white part, the clear part of the egg. And now what we got is the soft peaks. Excellent. We're going to be adding the egg yolks. Okay, so we're going to be adding some salt and pepper to this. And now when we've added the, the fat part of the egg, the, the yolk, it's going to start coming a little bit looser together. It's going to be a little runnier and whatnot. We're just going to season this up a wee bit. We're getting the jalapenos out of the freezer. We've got a little pan here to put the... Uh, the finished product in or what after they've been battered. We got the oil heated up here. I'm kind of uh, just got my veggies on warm here. Dip them in flour first, crucial step. And there they go. Ooh, God, that looks great. Drop them here, toss them in these dishes. Just getting these good, nice coated. Dropping them in there. Flour. Batter, fryer. Three simple steps. We're going to let them float in there, and they're going to float on one side and just cook on that one side. And then after a little bit, we're going to flip them. So uh, we're just watching these suckers fry now. They're poofing up big, but uh, this is what they turn out to look like. They're just beautiful golden. You know, it's all right if you get some of that spot. Some of the skin got a little toasty there, but you know, throw some salt and pepper on these guys. Season them up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Just got the normal small guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw these on a plate with some foil over the top of them right now. Minus the Aztec card. You don't want to eat that kind of stuff. And pour a little hole in there. And we'll throw these in the oven on warm. I got my chicken breasts in there. They're on warm too. Some of you may have some uh, nice uh, tortilla holders and warmers. By all means, go ahead and use those. Those are great. You want to be careful not to drop anything in the fryer because it might mess up your oil. And I set these on the oven. Grab my chicken tongs. The dude is putting some salsa in the middle of a plate for presentation. And we're going to be putting the fried jalapenos. All right. Just cutting them into some strips here. Taste a little bit of this. It's pretty nice. What we got here is some uh, already pre-shredded cheese from uh, the best cheese brand you can imagine. It's Sargento. Little plug there for them. Do a little dance with it. Thank God for the dude in the robe. Thanks, man. So. Uh, Little Ziploc, we're gonna top, put this in a bowl. We let everybody uh, serve themselves here, make their own fajitas.
excellent. That, and then I'll grab some sour cream and guacamole. Man, dude, that looks so good. Dude and Rob, man, did a great job, Garrison. Thanks for getting there, buddy. Right on. I'm gonna run these out, and uh, Dude and Rob is gonna prep up the rest of the stuff for the fajitas, put the veggies and whatnot in the bowl. So um, see what the guests are up to. Excellent. You guys hungry? Yeah. <laughs> okay. These are some uh, stuffed jalapenos, and we dip them in kind of a tempura batter. It's a uh, an egg white batter. Here, I'll let you guys sort these out. There you go. Have a bunch. You guys go ahead and dig in. And uh, we'll be back out with the fajitas. Well, I'm going to bust into the kitchen to get the rest of the stuff wrapped up and leave them with their appetizers. Double dipping is allowed. So we got the veggies, everything put on plates. We got the chicken. Dust it up with some cilantro. We got the fajitas, the tostado tortilla thingies. And we're going to go ahead and bring this stuff out. We'll just bring a roll of paper towels out for people since this stuff is super messy. Radio. Okay, let's uh, get all this stuff out of there. Show our uh, serving skills here. How's everybody doing in here now? Woo! Hot Excellent. So we got fajitas, you got your guacamole, some sour cream, and tortillas. We got the honey and lime grilled chicken. Oh my gosh. And some more of the homemade salsa. salsa outstanding. Excellent. Salsa. Excellent. It's doing the roll, but it's finest. And some cheese. And we got some napkins if you guys need to blow your nose or whatever from all the hot stuff. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and enjoy. Dig in, everyone. So here we go again. Oh, it's the same damn thing. Think you're something new. Well, I don't like you. You think you're always right. The same thing every night. Nothing you say. Super hot. You don't like me too. The battery is awesome. You used to be my closest friend. Yeah, woo! <laughs> we used to hang out at the mall. <laughs> All right, well, this is uh, wrapping up our little Mexican fiesta. I'm going to get in and eat some finally. Uh, since I cooked it, I want to eat it. Uh, be sure to tune in next week where we're going to be doing our salute to the all glorious meat product, bacon. I love bacon. So we're doing a salute to bacon. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in this week. And uh, for now, this is the punk rock chef saying, let's cook something. Should have a